Hey, what's up, everyone? Luigi GX right here, and today I'm going to be reacting to Hulk versus Hulk Hogan. I have no idea what to say. That's all, really. Go check out the original video. I'll be right back here to watch it together. Okay? Okay. Make sure we rewind. Present. Go back to the first video. Nice. Dance versus Deadpool. The Pro vs. Thunderman. Watch out. Water for the Shadow. Chuck Norris vs. Tonight. Luffy vs. Natsu. Chuck Norris vs. Natsu vs. Chuck Norris. That will be a new people who made free for all. Project Fight Club. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the 161st episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and if you're new to this series, be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's episode was animated by Igor141, so if you enjoy... Alright, that, that guy's a good animator. Channel ...and subscribe. Speaking of tonight's battle, we have a fight between the Incredible Hulk and Hulk Hogan. Now, clearly, if we take this 100% seriously, the battle would be a mismatch. So, for Hulk Hogan, we're gonna have to use some hyperbolic attitude and give him his fictional form to make this fight a lot Yeah, like, I'm OG. If we take this 100% literally, of course Hulk would destroy a regular human who's in peak condition, and at the same time, Hulk is not real, but Hulk Hogan is. So if we take this 100% literally, no matter how you look at it, it's going to be a total stop in either Hogan's favor or Bruce Banner's favor. This way, with some hyperbolic attitude, we can have a fictional Hulk Hogan and a fictional debate. So with all this being said, let's sure. introduce Cartoon Fight Club's 161st round. Man, you got me. Of you got me a fair. Terrence Balea grew up in the state of Georgia. His early life was rough as he grew up in poverty around a tough neighborhood. However, it was his dream to achieve the American dream and make something of himself. As a fan of attending professional events, he knew what he had to do. By the year 1979, Terrence entered the World Wrestling Federation. He started off as Terry the Hulk Boulder, but soon into his career, he was coined as Hulk Hogan, which is a combination of his favorite superhero, the Hulk, and a pitch really? concept of Hogan the Irish wrestler persona, which was a character that was never fully developed into his current wrestling persona. Believe it or not, but there has been both a fictional and real-life rivalry between the Incredible Hulk and Hulk Hogan. In real life, Marvel wanted the rights to the Hulk Hogan name, and in the comics, the Incredible Hulk wanted Hulk Hogan to change his name. The interesting thing to know is that both fights are not know that. In reality, Marvel and the WWE are in constant licensing battles that never seem to end on who gets to retain these rights each time they expire. And in the comics, Hulk and Hulk Hogan decided to wrestle each other, and the loser would have to get a new name for their persona. However, this never happened since the two fighters were too stubborn to actually let one defeat the other. What's very important to understand is that the fictional Hulk Hogan is actually really strong, as he can tank hits from the Hulk and grasp his arms down. Now the main reason why a clear victor was never found was mainly because Hulk broke the rules and threw Hulk out of the arena. But don't worry, Hulk survived. You following along? Similar to the Incredible Hulk, Hulk Hogan is powered by emotions, but not his own emotions, the emotions of other people. Hogan oh. gains power from his Hulkamaniacs during Hulkamania. His signature finisher is the Atomic Leg Drop of Doom, when Hulkamania is in high effect, there is pretty much nothing you can do to get past this leg drop. Hulk can even enter your mind and knock your brain into a coma by wearing a thong and hitting your skull with a wrecking ball. The only oh, that thong. Hogan is to turn the crowd against him. If there are Hulkamaniacs cheering him on, he will always be able to replenish his health and gain strength. Hogan paved and ushered the WWE into what it was today. He is powered by his loyal Hulkamaniacs and has taken Marvel's toughest heroes on in the past. From one Hulk to another, let's discuss yeah. the Incredible Hulk. And we have had the Hulk many times on this show before, so this segment is going to be very condensed. If you want to see a full Hulk review, check the links down below. Bruce Banner is a scientist who gained his powers from a gamma radiation. Oh, that's fun. Who, which Hulk are you saying? 
viruses, adrenal activation, anger empowerment, accelerated healing, longevity resistance to mind control, and skilled hand-to-hand -hand oh, a top-tier member of the Avengers, being able to take on Marvel's strongest characters from Thor, Thanos, Loki, and Hulkbuster Iron Man. Hulk acts purely out of rage and doesn't think much during his battles, and he's mainly powered by anger. So if another emotion is triggered like love, sorrow, or confusion, his power can go down just as fast as it can go up. Overall, the Hulk is the living embodiment of rage and anger. So it's war of Hulk. He take on dangerous forces time and time again. However, because he's full of rage, he is not one to think or make conscious battle decisions. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth with no prep. Let's All right. Begin. So it's World Baker Hulk against Hulk Hogan, or Fiction Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we go. Oh, that's the wrong intro. Sorry about that. Oh. Get ready for the next battle. Hulk versus Hulk Hogan. Slithering. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Where's my Hulk Hogan? Oh. What's it gonna do? You're a cheap shark. I hope you're ready, brother. Because when Hulkamania rules, when Hulkamania lives forever, when Hulkamania puts you down on your knees, I want the whole world to realize that I beat just your best. Dang. He beat World Breaker Hulk. Looks like he found World Breaker Hulk. He said it was going to be the same most of the I'm guessing it was World Breaker Hulk. And the winner between Hulk versus Hulk is Hulk. And before we yeah. discuss why Hulk beats Hulk, I want to give a huge shout out to the battle animator, Igor141. If you enjoyed what you saw, head on over to his channel and subscribe. And now let's discuss why Hulk Hogan is the winner. The first thing that I need to stress the most is that we didn't take this debate literally, which means Hulk Hogan was not viewed as a normal human and Hulk was not viewed as a fake character. We had to treat this with hyperbolic attitude and make Hulk Hogan a hyperbole of himself by drawing fictional elements for his persona. It's the only way to make this thing a debate worth debating. Next, and I kind to have to repeat myself from before we can't forget that there's actually been an encountering between hulk and hulk hogan in the past both in not surprised, actually. In life between marvel and the wwe and both fights were over the name hulk in the comics the loser between hulk and hulk hogan would have to get a new name for their persona but that never happened since the two fighters were too stubborn to actually let one defeat the other when hulk hogan and hulk wrestled each other Hulk wasn't able to break Hogan's bones, but he did throw him out of the stadium and he still survived without a scratch. This proved two things. One, there was no official winner, and two, Hulk Hogan had the durability to survive punishment from the Hulk. So if one couldn't possibly pin the other for an official victory, then how can I have the right to choose? What we need to understand is that was a wrestling match, and what happened in this episode was an all-out fight to the death. When it comes to physical strength and stats, both are pretty much on the same levels of physical limits as seen when they tried to wrestle each other. However, their mental intangibility is what gives Hulk Hogan the edge over the Incredible Hulk. Hulk is powered by anger, and he could get weakened by confusion and sorrow, while Hogan is powered by his Hulkamaniacs, both from the stadium, TV, and internet. For Hulk to stop Hogan from gaining power, he would have to stop his power supply, which would mean destroying all of his loyal Hulkamaniacs. This could be possible, but it wouldn't actually be right. practical to think he could figure that out. 
especially since Hulk isn't one to plan out his fights and acts purely out of rage. Hogan, on the other hand, can do the exact opposite. All he would need to do is use his wrecking ball thong attack to literally mind rape Hulk. Hulk Hogan in the thong on a wrecking ball should surely send Hulk on an emotional swing and a possible shutdown, which would decrease Bruce's powers. Hogan has both the strength and the endurance to withstand and stalemate Bruce. That's true. What gives him the win is his tactical skills to outthink the Hulk's blind rage. And as stated earlier, there has been some encountering between the WWE and Marvel. So if you want to see Team WWE with the likes of John Cena, The Undertaker, Hulk Hogan, The Rock, and more. Oh. The Avengers, all you would have to do oh. is like this video. If this video gets 20,000 likes, there will be a total war between Team WWE and The Avengers. Also, comment down your own ideas and stay tuned because the next fighters are going to be revealed. Oh, I hope it's a total war. Because I must be getting close. Next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. It's finally time. The battle you've been oh God, waiting I'm... for. In the blue corner, representing a skeleton, I bring you Team oh my God. Tail. Featuring <laughs> Sans, Papyrus, Kara, Undyne, Asgore. Oriel and one mystery. It's Asriel Dreamer. We all saw it. The red corner, representing the Eye of Providence. <laughs> you, Team Gravity Falls. I always got the Jimmy Dipper, Mabel, Rumble McSkirmish, Grunkle Stan, the Gravity Falls Gnome, Bill Cipher, and one mystery fighter. Time baby. Who the mystery fighters are? Follow me. Oh my God! Finally. Finally made it! Page. Links to these sites are in the description below. Expect to see this epic war between Undertale and Gravity Falls around this Saturday, February 25th. Stay tuned for it. Oh my god, I'm excited. That is one thing. I am literally excited. I can't wait to see it. My god, I really can't wait to see it. Anyway, thank you all for watching this. Please like, comment, subscribe, all good stuff. I'll see you right back here next time. Inject out.